today I have the brand new January 2021 Fright Crate. Yes, it is January's box. Long story short, every single month I always make sure and cover this. This box went on sale January 1st at like 12.01 p.m. Eastern time. It won't ship out until like the following month. So this I actually didn't even get until the very end of February. February's box, I won't get to the end of March. This month, March box, which I already purchased, I won't get until the end of April, middle end of April. Um, so they're always kind of like, from the time you buy, it could take up to two months to get it. Because they'll always sell a certain amount of boxes. I don't know how many it is. Let's just say you know, March 1st of this month, when they went on sale, they had, let's say, 500 boxes. Then they'll order, you know, t-shirts, like figurines and everything to meet the number that they sold. So going into this, you already know that this is the most current box that you have, even though it's like two months ago, but it actually is the most current box. So this was the January 2020 box, but really it's more like the late February box. So that makes any sense. But anyway, this box, 30 bucks a month plus shipping. They do ship internationally, which is fantastic for everybody overseas. And the value in this box is always really good. To be honest with you, most items in this box I don't keep. Um, I, I like to open this box and review it on YouTube. I think it has a good value to it. I've kept some t-shirts from it, but, but beyond that, I don't keep a whole lot from these boxes. But you can actually make money on this box. There's always little figurines and stuff in this box that sell for pretty good money. Sometimes they'll sell for the entire box price. You ready? That was a bad knife flick. Let me try it again. Let's do this. So the newest Fright Crate. Here we go. Once again, on top you have the paper hiding the contents. Let me feel around just a little bit. See what I can feel in here. I'll do the t-shirt first, that's right on top. It is a black color, black color t-shirt. My favorite color of t-shirts. Show the camera first. Hopefully it's freaking incredibly awesome. What's it look like? What's it of? We've got, oh, trimmers. That's a neat graphic. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So this, uh, the little, not little, the huge thing is called a grab, grabnoid, or I'm drawing a blank what it's actually called now. But we do have trimmers. Super cool t-shirt, I like that. Will I keep it? Um. I have hundreds of t-shirts now. And in order for me to keep a t-shirt, I have to absolutely love it. Like, I can't live without it. Can I live without this? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. Will I keep it? Uh, I'll have to decide. But no matter what, this t-shirt, I guarantee you, I throw it up on eBay, it's 20 bucks. The items from this box I don't keep will be on eBay. So drill it down below to my eBay store if I'm purchasing this stuff. This whole box might, might be it for sale. If it is, that's totally fine, because I'll make money on this box <laughs> if I don't keep anything. Okay, next item, we have a beer koozie. The beer, you opened it, we came. Okay, this is from Hellraiser. It's actually kind of interesting. Actually, this we actually might keep, just because uh, my wife, whenever we go to the gym, her uh, like about her bottles, like it sweats as the ice melts. A lot of times she'll put it in into koozies to like catch the water so it's not dripping all, like all over the gym. So we might actually keep the koozie because koozies don't have a whole lot of value to them. If I try to sell this, it might get like you know three bucks out of it. But it's actually pretty cool though. That is based off Hellraiser with the uh, that Hellraiser like puzzle puzzle box, whatever that whatever it's called, like the puzzle box. Okay, next item we have something. This feels like the magnet, which the magnets are always made by the Serial Resin Company. They do a fantastic job with their magnets, too. They always sell extremely well for pretty good freaking value. This one actually looks really good. Okay, so this one is based off of uh, Jason Ghost Hell, it looks like. We have the Jason mask with a snake coming through it. If I remember correctly from Jason Goes to Hell... Um, one of the main screenshots was like a snake going through Jason's mask. So the thing this is what this is based off of, but
but it's actually it's done really well. Has a like a the details on it's really good. It has a nice shine to it. It's actually a pretty well made magnet. And yes, it actually is a magnet. So if you have a, a college dorm, you got a fridge, you want to put some awesome on it, boom. Will I keep this? No, I won't keep this. But this is actually, I do like it. But I buy so much stuff. You've seen me on this YouTube channel open up hundreds of mystery box over the years. Hundreds. It might be a thousand. If I kept everything from every single box I ever bought, I'd have to have a second house just to hold everything. <laughs> So I gotta kind of limit at what I buy. Here we go, monthly pin, or not buy, but what, what, what I keep from these boxes. Let's see which one this is. This is, oh, it says Lord of Darkness. This is the, um, oh, what movie is that called? He has like the horns on it. He's, he's kind of like a, looks kind of like a devil. I forget what movie that is. Pretty cool looking pin though. I'm sure it actually will sell pretty well. Probably sell pretty well. Here we go. Next item. This might actually be the last thing. It is. We do have a mystery box. It's almost like a puzzle box. Let's see what we have in here. Wow, this is actually a big statue this time. Okay, that's pretty freaking awesome. We have the Crypt, Ke Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. Fantastic detail on that, too. We got the Crypt Keeper. Tales from the Crypt. I'm sure everybody, if you're as, as old as me, HBO would show new episodes of Tales from the Crypt back in, what was it, the 80s and 90s? And uh, always look forward to seeing it. Fantastic detail. So this is probably, once again, made by a serial resin company. That's who makes most of these props, replicas, statues for the Fright Crate is... Um, Sir Resin Company, but let's go ahead. Let's look at the cheat sheet. Let's see what it says. Super tiny cheat sheet this time, as always. This says January 2021. What's in the box? Exclusive Crypt Keeper bust. There's going to be some scary tales to tell. This four inch bud, which is about the same height as a Funko Pop, is brought to you by Sir Resin Company, exclusive on the Fright Crate. So the Crypt Keeper bust. And this is actually, you know, this thing, I bet you sell for 30 bucks by itself. This will pay for the entire box if you don't want to keep this. You can honestly sell this, keep everything else, and probably make all your money back. But yeah, that is going to be, that's going to have pretty good value to it. No joke. Exclusive Tremors Attack t-shirt. Creatures Attack from Beneath with this exclusive shirt designed by our favorite collaborator, Max Cave. Max Cave did a fantastic job in his t-shirt. Um, I probably won't keep it though, but did a fantastic job. Then the exclusive Jason Goes to Hell Magnet. Another amazing serial resin company piece. Jason returns in this hellish rendition of the movie poster. So I remember yeah, there was a picture with the snake going through his mask. An exclusive Lord of Darkness pin from one of our favorite fantasy horror flicks. This pin is two inches wide, double post, soft enamel. Was it called Lord of Darkness? Maybe it was. I just don't remember what it was called. I guess it was. Then we have exclusive Hellraiser koozie. This high-quality koozie is perfect for any canned beverages based on one of the quotes from the film, You Opened It, We Came. So all that for only 30 bucks, of course, plus shipping. Thy and I thing, I, straight up honest with you, Crypt Keeper, I'll probably put this on eBay, 30 bucks. See if I get 30 bucks out of it. I won't be shocked if I do. 30 bucks, this probably another 10, there's like 40. Yeah, let's say 45. The t-shirt, I'll buy a Swing Bucks t-shirt. Honestly, I won't be too shocked if I sell everything here between $60 and $65. Double my money. Double my money. So, a lot of these Fright Crates that I buy, I don't keep very much from it. But I don't mind getting them because I can always sell it and make some money. <laughs> And it makes a cool YouTube video to review it. But once in a while, I will keep t-shirts from, from this box. This other stuff, I don't have room for all these collectibles. I just don't have room for. So, sell it on eBay. Recoup your money. Too easy, right? So, I'll see you next month with the next Fright Crate box. Mm -hmm.